one thing about Venice is that there are a lot of steps here, so we paid this we guy pay. about 20 to 25 euros to bring our bags. He's already done like five bridges. <laughs> this has been awesome. this has been the best money we ever spent <laughs> on the whole trip. But look how stunning the views are. Venice is just full of bridges, so beware. We have heavy luggages. They're about 50 pounds each. Wow. Good man. So we have arrived at our Airbnb. Here's all of our luggages. I just want to quickly film a little bit before everything gets messy. This is a nice clean bedroom. This is yeah, our kitchen. A little kitchenette that we won't be using much. And then this is also a pull out. It's super cute. And we have a little bit of a balcony as well. Cribs Venice edition. Yeah, Cribs Venice edition. And this is our balcony. This is our little square. It's actually quite lively, but it's very quiet in our Airbnb of Venice. Let's go. How stunning. This is called Rio Terra Canal. All the canals have a name. It's beautiful. We are in Venice. This is our very first day. So we decided to dress up because the weather might not be the best while we're here, but hopefully it's okay. And I'm with my sisters and my lovely mom who's filming. Guys, you want to come in? Hello! When you walk, it's an optical illusion. The buildings turn. Oh my gosh, so pretty. Just a random street and it's beautiful. How cute is my mom? We're making a pose for a photo. <laughs> corner in every part of Venice. because there's been pickpocketers everywhere yeah. so we didn't want to be walking around lost at night. Venice is beautiful. Just it's gorgeous. Be careful for pickpocketers. Obviously always keep your eyes on each other's belongings and on your own belongings of course. Super delish. And then I also got the Bacala Mantecato which is like whipped cod and it's very particular to this area. Bon appetit! I'm trying all food that is characteristic of Venice. I got the Bacala Mantecato, I got the spaghetti al nero di sepia with squid ink, so I'm trying some it's like red black things. pasta. So this is pasta with squid ink, al nero di sepia, and frutti di mare. Looks very really good, some vongole. And I have this mantecato, and it's actually very delicious. It's like whipped cod, but it doesn't taste too fishy. It's really good, actually. You'll love this. So we're enjoying. And spaghetti alla vongole. 
drink. Guys, a fun fact, the tap water in Venice is a very drinkable because this is from the same sources that San Benedetto gets their water. So it's literally fresh spring water right from the tap. Actually our second day, but really our first full day in Venice. It was calling for rain today and it didn't rain at least yet. So we're super excited. We just left our Airbnb and now we're going for a very late breakfast. So let's go. Let's go. This is pasta chili and tonno though. It looks amazing. I'm so excited. This is mandula, this is a baba with crema, and this has zabayone. Oh, looks so good. I'm in heaven. This, these pastries are the best. Literally, they're so good. That's a baba. Get your own mask, that's cute. Oh my god, that's so cute. Wow, they're pretty, some of them are really pretty. These are the famous chiquetti of Venice. They're basically bruschette, so like little toasted crostini breads with all kinds of different toppings on them. They look so good. This is chiquetti. We're having our little chiquetti and some spritz. They got a lot of vegetarian options. Me and Jill's got a couple with meat too. They look very delish. Look how delicious this gelato looks. Pistacchio and chocolate fondant. They're extra dark. This is Johnny when he's hungry. <laughs> the gorilla. <laughs> Hi, Bobby, miss you. We have been blessed with good weather for our whole trip to Italy, except for Venice. It's a little bit rainy. So right now we're seeking cover under this little hut <laughs> until maybe we can find an umbrella. It's supposed to just be spitting for a couple hours today, so after that it should pass. Right now, we're guys, waiting. I'm in this little alley because it started to pour a bit, which is unfortunate because usually Italy it doesn't rain at all, so we got some bad luck, but it's so beautiful. And mom just bought her fifth pair of shoes, so... so. <laughs> These little cute frames, I love these. Oh my god, I love them too. Look at that book there. Venice! Look at this beautiful lush fig tree in front of this cute bookstore. This is apparently the most beautiful bookstore in the world. <laughs> Librerio Aqualta. Looks so cute. Free entrance. Let's take a look. Cute little posters. Puccini. All these books are in a gondola. How cute. You can climb up all these books and take a picture at the top. Wow. Hello, this is the famous spot at this little library. The steps are literally made of books. How cute. <laughs> So we just came out of that bookstore that I just showed you. It is so cute. It was adorable. You can buy lots of really nice books in there. And then if we head to the back, there's a perfect photo op where you can literally step on books and take a cute photo, it's which is very took. crowded as we wear. It's, it's hard crowded, to, so you to kind of have to wait your turn, but at least people let you kind of it's worth it. It's take a picture. It's worth the trek. You had to Yeah. You need a Google Maps or something to take to you get here. the streets because it's impossible. It's easy to get lost in Venice, we're realizing. So so easy. Alrighty. Look how beautiful. He's singing, wow. That's so cute. How gorgeous, stunning. The famous clock. Piazza San Marco. Full of tourists, but still full of beauty. <laughs> Literally 360 panorama. It's all. gondola. Woo! Just so you know, about a 30 minute ride around the main canal costs about 80 euros per boat release, so we kind of technically pay 20 euros each. And it's definitely
are Murano glass. They do a lot of glass blowing. You could even see a class how they do it. And they have a lot of little things you can buy from jewelry to knickknacks, all in blown glass. It's quite amazing actually. That looks like my little summer. These little Murano glass chihuahuas are so cute. This is gelato fantasy. Looks good. You can even learn how to make lace. They do a lot of lace embroidery in Venice as well. Ta -da! All these piazzas are just unreal. She's so cute. These are my favorite peaches, these little donut peaches. Oh my gosh. They are so delish. I love these. How cute is this? It's like a little market. And the water! So cute. See, here's where we are buying fruit <laughs> on a cute little boat. Venice is a dream, honestly. Where else can you buy fruit on a boat? <laughs> so we have these crafen. They're like basically the Italian style donuts or bomboloni, and they're filled with cream. My mom got hers with marmelata, but we got ours with cream. These delicious mandorle cakes, they're almond with pan di spagna, so good. I'm gonna try mine. Try yours on camera. I'm gonna film you in the mirror. Mm. How good is it? Oh my god. It's like Google <laughs> Oh my gosh, look at that. It's lemony. Same amazing. Oh my god, it's soft. My favorite breakfast. A delicious cappuccino. Mm. We are on the Rialto Bridge with all of these shops. Walking down the bridge. We are going to Burano. Or Burano. Like Burano glass, but with a B. We have arrived by Vaporetto in Burano. Or Burano. Still not sure how to say it. <laughs> you can tell you're here when you start to see colors. That's how you know. So cute. Seems like that. A water taxi, basically, or a water bus. We are in Burano. Literally every single tiny little house is painted a different color, so it's just adorable. I love it here. It took about an hour of Vaporetto to arrive, but we finally got here, and it's so cute. It's very colorful and characteristic of this area. Vaporetto is basically a water bus. <laughs> And you pay your ticket, it costs about 20 euros per person to get here, but it's definitely worth it because it's so colorful. Even my mom was saying, is it worth this trek to get here? But when she finally arrived, she was like, wow, I love it here. It's just so cute and beautiful, and I feel like it's so picturesque, so you really can't go wrong. Yeah. See Murano glass. We just watched him making these, I believe. So he literally made like a little fruit. <laughs> that is so cute. Real glass. Wow. And these little corners, you can find a whole other street completely. So cute. Okay, one on top. An apple flavored gelato. Wow. That's where we're going to eat. It's called Il Gatto Nero. So cute, lovely and colorful. That's where we're going to be having lunch today. Cheers, guys! Cheers! Cheers! Woo. We are having calamari. Yummy! Looks so good. This is pappardelle with scampi and ricotta fumicato. So smoked ricotta. It looks so good. It smells even better. We literally all got it because we heard that it was such a great dish to get here. So buon appetito! 
This is one of the best fish pastas I've ever had. It's so delicious. I don't want it to end. Mm. We all are loving our dishes. Mine, mine is already done. Jen's is already done. Finished way before them. Tiramisu, homemade, and this mascarpone with pizzerono amaretto cream. So good. It's delicious. We love creamy stuff. Yeah. It was one of the best desserts we had. We literally finished them all before our coffee even came. They were so good. Mm. Last day in Venice, I'm literally going to miss our little piazza so much. Unfortunately, we never really got to see much of Venice at nighttime. Jules and I wanted to go out last night, but Jen and my mom were just too tired. And honestly, I don't necessarily feel so safe with just two girls, so we stayed home too. But we had such a great trip, and I feel like one more day in Venice would have been perfect. We say that about every place we go to. And now we have to find a way we're to so bring our luggage. If you guys ever see those guys and you know that your place is far, just get them because it literally saves It's worth you. it. There are so many bridges we have to go over, so it's crazy. But yeah, today's our last day. I'm so sad. <laughs> the train station, we lugged all of our luggages. Sweating buckets. Sweating buckets. And we're sad to leave. Bye, Venice. You're so beautiful. <laughs> you're really difficult to get around to with luggages, but you're so beautiful. We are leaving Venice, but not before I have my cafe crema. This is called cafe crema or cremasito. Let's see. Cremosito. I love having this on a nice hot day. It's so cool and refreshing. It's like frothy and delicious. 